welcome back to Ladybug Lane Soaps and this is Marky and I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. So let me move my mold that my husband made out of the way and I apologize for the last video. I think the mold was like way over here and and I didn't realize it. So I had to put the little tape here so I so um, I'll just stick it right there and so I know what's what. All right, well, I have a fragrance oil from Brambleberry that I have not tried yet and I'm very excited to give it a try. It is their Bamboo Mint. And if anybody has tried that, uh, let me know how you like it. It really smells good. You know, I, I think I kind of get get skeptical when when I'm trying or, or not even trying when I'm looking on any of the suppliers websites and and I'm like well what the heck would bamboo smell like but this is it's so nice it's not overly strong This is mild acceleration in cold process, no discoloration, vanillin zero. So I'm really hoping that this will behave itself. And here it's just kind of a nice, nice yellow here. And so I'm trying, you know, still as I'm standing here in front of you, this is this is the thing that just cracks me up about myself. Yes, as I'm standing here right before you, I'm I'm still kind of scratching my head, wondering um, exactly how I want to go about mm -hmm. this. I do have my colors picked out, which I will show you right now. So, how many do we have? Okay, so here here are the ones from from Nurture. Okay. So this is, hope I'm holding it up far enough. So this is the Laurel Green Mica from Nurture, very, very nice. The New Leaf Mica, which I used in the wild berries for the leaves. But let me tell you, when you use this you know, on the outside of your soap, uh, like, the, like the leaves, it, it it, it turns a different color than if you use this in the batter for the inside. So I'm still wondering about that. And now this I've only used this once before. This is called the Rainforest Mica Powder from Nurture. And if you go back to my Waves of Aromatherapy, that was the color. And it's, this is just gorgeous inside. Hopefully, hopefully you can see all those sparkles. Isn't that just, I mean, that's just beauteous. And then from, the only one from Brambleberry, <laughs> you can't even read that. That's the Kermit, Kermit Green. Kermit the Frog here. And it's a very, very nice green. I haven't used it for a while. It was one of them that I had used in the, in a, in a watermelon soap. So I'm still trying to figure out, you know, exactly what color, if I want to have a base color, <laughs> or if I just want to fill up all four containers with some greens, and then for the fifth one, I want to have some titanium dioxide. But as this mentioned, it says mild acceleration. And I am soaping with a little steeper water discount this time. It's one and three fourths to one. And I did put one teaspoon of kaolin clay in, but that was before I read about the mild acceleration. Ah! And so, and the, oh, and then I did put in three ounces of heavy cream, and I have not put in any kind of uh, ghost milk or cream in my, in my soaps for a while. So I think this is just gonna depend upon 
how this accelerates or doesn't accelerate. Get my get that there. All right. Still trying to get used to the little island here. Actually, it's not tiny, tiny. Okay. So I think. I'll just stir the lye in. With my whisk here. And so a lot of my soaps just kind of depend upon how the fragrance oil behaves. And I can tell that that is getting a little thick already. So let's get the fragrance oil in there. Goodness. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, and if you're wondering why the oil is so dark, I did that on purpose, so I used the, the extra the extra virgin olive oil, which is pretty green. And since I knew that I was going to be working with greens, I just thought that I would leave it at that. Instead of using my, my lighter color. Okay, you know what? So since I do need to just give it a scrape on the bottom, since I do need to blend, that's all I'm going to mix it up in this big fella here. I'll cut. Isn't it fun just to be a little crazy, just kind of not quite know what you, what you want to do? Well, that's me. But you know, sometimes it's just kind of fun, isn't it? Um, I mean, sometimes I do have a a big plan, and other times you would just kind of you just kind of have fun.
you saw, the um, there wasn't very much acceleration, maybe just a little bit, clean the, clean the edges up here, maybe just a little bit with the white, but then that was because it has the titanium dioxide, otherwise known as TD. So I'm going to be anxious to see how all of these greens turn out, because usually greens never stay exactly how, how they are in the jar. So I think I'm going to probably be giving it a day or two to set up, and I'm going to go put this in front of our AC because it's getting rather warm in here, and, and I don't want it to crack. So all right, everybody, I'll return for the cut. Bye-bye. Welcome back to the cutting of the bamboo mint from Brambleberry and I would just love how this turned out so far. I mean look at this bottom. Isn't that pretty? And here is the side and I really really liked that top. Now let me show you the, the other side and then I'll show you what happened to the top. So isn't that pretty? So, so what happened was we've been having some really hot weather here, you know, eight, uh, close to, to 90 this whole week. And this is Wednesday. And so it started having these really major cracks. I mean, this, it has closed up now. Um, and so I had it in front of our air conditioner with the air just kind of blowing right over the top, which really cools it down. And with having it being in a in a wooden mold that just really adds to the heat. So I was upstairs doing something and I heard the, the beep beeping of the machine which means uh, that the uh, half gallon of the container uh, needed to be emptied because it's because it draws water out of the house. It's also a it's kind of like a humidifier air conditioner. So I didn't get down here in time and just in that I don't know how, if it was five minutes or ten minutes, but by the time I got down here, uh, I took the, the temperature with my infrared gun, and it had shot up to 104. And, and there, was my, there was my crack. All righty, let's see if I can get this puppy in here. So I was a little bummed about that, but you know what they say, you know, don't walk away from your from the stove. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Oh my gosh. I love that. Look at all those different greens in there. Oh my gosh. I was I was kind of laying in bed last night just just uh, wondering how all these greens were were going to turn out. I just had this terrible terrible vision that it was just going to be so muddy and as you probably remember from the video I mean those greens they just they just looked uh, like like mud but that's the funny thing about greens is that they always look really really odd at first you know I'm very happy with this and you know because I was just trying to think you know I didn't want I didn't want just uh, one one straight solid color, you know, for for bamboo. You gotta kind of make your soaps a little exciting sometimes. And, and I think, okay, so that crack is right on top. Do you see that crack right on top? So that 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 was all right. Okay, not a whole lot of swirly, but. I think next time, I think I will put more of that. Do you see that that blue in there? That was that that rainforest blue, um, blue, rainforest green. 
but it kind of is more on the teal side. But you know what? I will take that. All right. So let's get cutting this in so you don't have to hear me yapper.